Good morning. Oh, just thinking about what coffee do I want this morning? Hmm. You know what? Is this? Ah. Diavolito. This is just a single espresso. It's 1.35 ounces. But I am going to run it through three times. Which will give me three, four, you know, like about a four and a half ounce cup of coffee. Um, got some oat milk here. Diavolito has an intensity of 11, which is the highest intensity that Nespresso makes on the uh, Virtuo coffees. And I really like it. It's yummy. Um, kind of wish they made that intensity in a larger cup, but I'll accomplish, you know, kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's not going to be as strong because I'm taking what's meant to be drunk as 1.35 ounces, you know, and I'm diluting it essentially with more water. Um, running it through three times. <clears throat> the first time, you know, it gets the full and strength of the coffee. The second time, maybe there's a little left. The third time, it's probably just hot water coming through. But that's okay. I like it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> haven't had anything to drink yet. This will be my first drink. Looking forward to it. So, um, I was reading this morning um, about people who want to enjoy their morning coffee. And um, actually, uh, Kitsa, I think, was sharing, Kitsa Gorslein, that um, <laughs> she had heard or read something that I said about do something that makes you happy every morning to start your day. And for me, this makes me happy. So um, people were talking about, you know, like, get up 30 minutes earlier so you can enjoy some time to yourself. Actually have your coffee while it's hot. Not be rushing out the door, you know, with your coffee and can't even savor it. You know what, listen, get up five minutes earlier. And I know this may sound silly. If five minutes seems impossible, if you get up to an alarm clock, set it for one minute earlier tomorrow morning, the next day, two minutes earlier, then three minutes till you work up to five minutes earlier. You know, when you feel rushed in the morning and overwhelmed, whether you're trying to get out the door to go to work, or you've got kids to get off to school, or maybe you've got little bitties that end up coming into your bed and that's how you wake up every morning, and you just feel like you don't, you know, the day has started and you're always running to catch up. Well, look, beat it and get up a little earlier. You know, even just five minutes before the chaos begins, it really can make a big difference. And, you know, it again, it may seem silly to some people. Oh, what's five minutes? But there are a lot of people who say, oh, five minutes. No, I need every second of sleep I can get. You know what? Very often, quality trumps quantity. Well, maybe not with money, but with a lot of other things in life, okay? So, if you get up a little bit earlier, have a little time to yourself. Maybe get to savor your coffee. It can have a big effect on your day. Really, this is true. Our society is so busy, busy, busy that people forget the value of even just a few minutes for themselves. And it, what I'm saying is very true. I have actually talked with many people who have said, oh, I could not get up any earlier than I do. It's just, oh, I need that sleep. Remember, in this case, quality over quantity. If you get up just a few minutes earlier and you can do something that you enjoy, that makes you happy, 
that makes you feel like you have a little bit of breathing room. This will affect your day in a positive way. It can last through the whole day if you can start off with a little time to yourself and doing something that makes you happy. This makes me happy. Oh, that's very good. Enjoy your day.